Hi guys, my name is Lauren and I'm going to be telling you a little bit about healthcare systems around the world and what they look like. So to start with, um, the first one you'll recognize is the beverage model. This is um, what is currently enacted in Britain and has stood for quite a while. Um, it starts with our taxpayers and citizens down here that pay taxes into their government. This government um, is a single payer for the um, health providers uh, as well as their wages, uh, any supplies that are needed, anything like that as well as handing down a strict list of rules for what procedures and treatments can and cannot be provided. The health providers are both public and private, and they provide care and medication to the citizenry. Next is the Bismarck model, which you'll recognize from Germany. And in Germany, instead of taxpayers paying the government for their health care, workers pay taxes or pay money, I guess, not necessarily taxes, into sickness funds. And these sickness funds are what pays for the health care. Um, the government still hands down a strict list of rules that helps to regulate what can and cannot be provided, but from there the health providers do provide care and medication to the uh, all of the citizens. Next up is the National Health Insurance Program. Um, it starts with our taxpayers and our citizens who pay lots of taxes, up to 40% of their income into the government. But the government is the sole payer uh, for both supplies and health providers. The nice thing about this system is it has private health providers instead of government-run government, government health providers, allowing for a lot more freedom within its health system. However, the government still has a strict list of rules. You will recognize this system from Canada, where their medication costs are so much lower that uh, U.S. citizens frequently escape over the border to buy supplies. Finally, the out-of-pocket model is something you might recognize from more rural countries that wouldn't have a formalized Medicare system or any other sort of health insurance system. And in these situations, the citizens pay directly for both supplies and care. And if you don't have enough money, you don't get care, period. I hope this has helped to explain a little bit about it. In the United States, you'll notice that we have a little bit of a mix of all of these. Um, and it is most efficient to choose at least one and focus on that, which is what we are working towards with Obamacare and hopefully will achieve in the next four years.